Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So in this video, we will check if a string contains any bubbles or not. So let me open my Visual Studio. So I have already created one class, check bubbles, and I have created this main method. Inside this main method, we have to write our logic. Okay, so I have written these two lines. So I have created this string variable to store our string. So guys, here we need uh, one function or we can say one method we will create. So I will give the name of that method will be age bubble. Okay. So I will create one public method public and return type will be bool. So it will return our uh, it will give us output as a true or false. Okay. So I will say bool and each is bubbles. Okay. So like that we have created one method and uh, one more thing. So I will make this method as a static static. Okay. So I will call this method here in the main inside the main method. We will call this method okay so it is giving us error because here we need to return something that's why okay so by default we are giving false false okay inside this main inside this is bubble method we have to write our logic okay so in this method we will take a string as an input it will ask a string parameter and uh, what we have to do here uh, i will assign this string into the str variable again okay and i will say str dot to lower okay so suppose if user provide a string like this gautam so g is capital okay so what we can do we are converting into the lower case so our complete string will be in lower case and one more thing we have to do here so we have to convert that string into the character array so character characters equal to str dot two care array okay guys so this two care array method will convert our string to character array so our character will be stored in this character variable okay guys so after that we need to create one for loop so in this for loop we will check if our string contains any of the characters like a e i o u vowels okay so here we have to write our logic inside the for loop so we need to create for loop so i will give int int uh, suppose i is equal to zero why i am giving here zero because let's see here we are converting our string to character array so in the, our character array or any array so indexing will start from zero okay so suppose the length of this string is six but what we are having in the index position zero is z index position is one is a like that so the length of this system will be 6 we are increasing the value of i so that we can iterate each and every characters of the character array okay so guys here if here we have to give one condition suppose if what we have to consider is character or we can characters so i will give here as a character okay character it will be more meaningful i well is nothing but here i is equal to is equal to a first vowel is here we have to give into the lower case or we have to provide the or condition here so i will copy paste it okay to save our time here it is not required a e here e here i i o and u that's fine now inside this if condition we have to return false or true so here if the if our character is contains a e i o u then we can say this string is contains vowel so what we have to return here return return true okay right? so here you may confuse here why why i am not using curly braces because i have written i have written here only one line so if we are returning only one line at that time we no need to write curly braces okay if we are having more than one line at that time we must have to use curly braces here okay but in case in our case we are using only one line so these curly braces is not required for us okay so that's why i'm not using curly braces okay let me delete unwanted lines here okay so this is our main logic but here we need to call this function to call this function what i can say i have to create one bool variable so the name of this bool variable will be result and here i am going to call this method so this method i am going to call here so this is the main method and this is the logic and here it is not required for us now what i have to check here 
I have to give one condition here if so this result variable will give us true and false okay so if result so if means if this condition is true then we have to return what we will return console dot write line console dot write line and I will say contains okay it may have one or more than one okay and inside the else condition what we have to write else here also we are writing only one line so that's why curly braces is not required curly braces doesn't require for us so I will say here uh, doesn't contains bubble or we can say does not does not contain bubbles okay so our program logic is done so guys let's understand how this uh, loop will work so suppose here our string is nothing but suppose we can say G A U T A M is our string okay like this we can have so we are converting into lower so our uh, converted string will be like this here got up and I am storing into the character array so inside at the zero index we are having Z the first index we are having A like that M index will be 5 okay so our loop is starting from 0 so it is checking first G if G is having any G is not a vowel so it will check here character of I okay character of i character of i matching with this i so like character of i suppose character of i is nothing but zero so first time it will check zero so zero what we are having at the index of zero we are having z so it will check character of i correct it means first character okay it is contains it is not matching with this it is not matching with this it is not matching with this okay also it will it is not matching with this okay so if it is not matching then it will not go here and it will directly go here our controller and it will increase the value of i okay then it will check the condition if this condition is true then it will the i value is now a so a is nothing but our i value will be one or so in the a it means in the first index we are having a so it will check first index a so this condition is true okay it will check again this one also this one this condition is not satisfied this condition is not satisfied but this is satisfied here so what it will return it will return true okay if this will return true then here in the result variable what we will have now it is, it is having now true so it will print the message as contains bubbles okay so now we have to write one more line console dot read line now we can run this program uh, suppose guys if you are having more than a uh, uh, like in the same project you are having more classes then we have you must have to set up the startup object as check bubbles so this is my class check bubbles so i already have um, my startup object is check bubbles okay guys so let me run this program and see the output so it is asking for a string suppose i am giving the same string Gautam. contains bubbles okay now let me run it again if i will hp it doesn't contain any bubble means a e i o u it doesn't contain hp so our message does not contain bubble if you don't want to use function or you don't want to create a function at that time you can create a program like this and this will give you the same output okay guys so guys this is very simple program if you have any doubt in this program you can ask me through comment the code of this program is available on my blog so you can check it out and the link is available in the description box thank you guys thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks